CBAI. Hey all, my name is Cam. Welcome to CBAI. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're in part two of how to fix the shimmer effect in Suno V4. I'm super excited to show you this quick trick that I just discovered. It does fix the shimmer effect quite a bit better than the last video I made. It doesn't remove it a hundred percent but you don't have to go into any kind of DAW or external audio tools to do this. I got it off the first try so I want to see if you all are finding that this helps you as well without burning through lots of credits. So let's jump into it. I want to try to keep this as quick as we can. Uh, value your time here. So this is how, you, uh, if you don't know what the shimmer effect is, it's this thing in V4 tracks that has this weird sound. It's usually around the snare drum I found, although some people say that the guitar driven, get distorted guitars tracks have that problem a lot as well. I've noticed it, but the main thing I notice is with the snare drum. So I want to show you what that is first if you're not aware, and then if you are aware what that is and you just want to jump straight to the how to, check my timestamps below and you will. I will uh, put it in all caps to, you can just click that and go straight to the how to. So so before we do that, let me show you what the shimmer effect is on my example song. So I created this song for another video, and uh, this particular version of it has a pretty bad. So I would consider this the final song, you know, the, it's complete, I'm not changing the lyrics anymore. Let me show you what that sounds, that shimmer sounds like. Yeah. Okay, so that was the shimmer effect. You probably heard it. If you were listening closely, you're going to hear it, especially on the snare drum. One more time, five seconds here so you can listen, especially to the snare drum. Uh, try to hear that shimmery up and down effect that sounds kind of like the audio version of this going very quickly. Yeah, okay, so that's the shimmer effect. It's very annoying. It's in like every V4 song almost, unless you're super lucky. Let's get into how we're going to eliminate that. So go to the song. This is going to be your completed song. You know, you're happy with the lyrics and the structure and everything. This is the one you want to use and you just want to reduce that sound. Go to dot dot dot, create, go to make persona. So we're going to use a persona to fix this. It should just name it whatever you want to do. I would call it um, re remove shimmer effect on song or, or on my song, something like that. Put in the avatar if you want. Put in the description if you want. I would say you're probably not going to make this public because you're using this as a tool to fix the shimmer problem versus using a persona that other people are going to go and use. And then you're going to save it. Now when I click save, it's going to give me an error only because I already created a persona off this song. So let me jump over. That is, let me see, where are we going to find that? It would be, if you want to find your personas, go to library, go to personas over here, and you'll see I've created one already called Test Shimmer Removal based on that song we just listened to. So then what we're going to do, this is the, I believe you could use Create with Persona here, but I'll tell you the exact way that I got this to recreate. So I went over into Create over here. Go down to Persona, make sure, actually, make sure you're on V4, not V3.5 or 3. Go to Test Shimmer Removal or whatever the name you made for your Persona. It should populate all of the style, but if it didn't, copy-paste them over. Then you're going to go over here to your original song and copy all of your lyrics exactly as you have them. Paste them into here. And then give it your title. And do the Create. And that should work. 
this is what it worked for me. I tried it, uh, and it worked on the very first try. So while those are loading, we don't need to worry about that because I already have one that worked doing the exact same thing I just showed you now. Uh, and it is right here, number A. I will tell you that in version B, it did reduce it, but not quite as well. And it did, there was like one tiny error in my music where it kind of made this, like uh, the vocals, like jump skipped forward, just like barely i don't think a casual listener would probably be too bothered by it but if uh but I'll, i'm not going to show you version b i want to show you version a because it was much better so let's check it out yeah Okay, so that was it. That's how you fix the uh, reduce the shimmer effect a lot better than the last way I showed you in Suno. You are going to go to your original song you've created that has the problem, uh, create a persona based off your song, and then use that persona to redo your song with all the same lyrics and same style, and it should come out and reduce it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give me a like. If you love learning about music and technology and using Suno and other AI, give me a subscribe so we can all grow and learn together and grow the channel. And lastly, leave me a comment if this was helpful for you. If it wasn't helpful, tell me how it uh, if it didn't fix it for you because it did work for me, but I love to hear it because AI is a little bit crazy and it goes all over the place sometimes. So let me know if anything's not working. I'd like to check into it. And then uh, if there's any way I can improve this channel that you or any videos you like to see, leave me a comment on that as well. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, this is Cam with CBAI, and I hope you have a good one. Take care.